everybody. So today I'm going to be going over my top 10 solo board games. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going over each one and then showing you kind of the components and telling you a little bit about the game and how it's played. So we're going to start off with Run, Fight, or Die. It's going to be my number 10 on my list. And um, basically it's a game where you're rolling dice to try to fight off zombies. Um, and it, um, this game comes with um, several different guys you can be. Anyway, the guy, the zombies will be pushing forward. You're rolling dice to try to defend your guy. You can, um, different roles will allow you to go to locations, get followers. The followers could have benefits that could um, help you. Um, or not help you. Sometimes there's disadvantages from some of the followers because you're trying to get enough points because each follower has a certain amount of points on them and you have to have up to 8 to 12 points depends on what level you're playing. Um, so say you're going for 8 points you have to get 8 points to, to win the game um, but also you have to try to find the town line. So you're actually you're trying to get enough followers and also trying to find, you're going through all these locations to try to find the town line. And when you find the town line, you should have enough um, followers, points, um, before you get the town line to win the game. So, anyway, you're rolling the dice, defending a bunch of zombies here. Expansion comes with um, runners, brutes, and crawlers. They do different things with runners, they move twice. Um, crawlers, they only get hit by bats. And then brutes, you get to hit them twice. So. Anyway, you're just fighting zombies and another dice rolling game with a little bit of cards. It's a fun game. Like I said, if you guys need any more, want to see any more information about a game, just let me know. And there's actually also other cards in there that allow you to have different weapons and different abilities and re help you re-roll stuff and all that stuff. So that's my number 10, Run, Fight, or Die. And I'm going to just come quickly over these games. Because I don't want to make a you know hour long video. The next one is number nine is Lord of the Rings. Not much to show here, just a bunch of it's a bunch of it's a card game, living card game. It's really fun. You're just building up your army um, with you have different allies, different attachments you can put on your guys. Like I said, there's not much to show you. There's a bunch of just a bunch of cards, but there's like I said, I like this game a lot because it's living card games. So there's always going to be these expansions coming out and different quests you can play and you play them in a row if you want that's what I usually do um, but anyway like I said there's not much to show you there just a bunch of cards <laughs> but anyway if you ever want more if you want to know more about any of these games you let me know so that's my number nine Lord of the Rings the card game it's really fun next is Let's see, yep, number eight is Mice and Mystics. Another great game. Uh, story driven game. There's a whole, of course, I play, you know, one chapter at a time. There's 12 chapters, I believe. Well, either way, you go through each chapter and there's. And what you do is you, uh. There's, there's these cool little boards here. And you explore through the board, each, each one of these little. Stones and sometimes water a little, or different like areas you can go on. But anyway, um, what's cool about this is that if you do a search action, obviously not to explain the game too much, but if you do a search action here, you can flip it over. You crawl up the stairs, and it pops you up on this side, and you're exploring this. And this has different um, things that happen. Different guys you have to fight, and different, and you can search and find different things. And it's a really cool game. It's, I like the aspect of you can. Um, like you said, you can cross through this way, or you can go up here, you can flip the board over, um, and you do that. But, so it's really cool. I like the, like the aspect of flipping the boards over. Um, anyway, like I said, it's a game where you're rolling dice, kind of beat the, defeat the guys. You can, you can find more weapons, there's abilities you can get. Um, usually you're playing multiple um, guys, like you're not just playing one map. Um, mice, you're playing multiple mice on a scenario, even if it's solo. So anyway, basically just trying to defeat the whatever the the quest is, trying to defeat it before the chapter end runs out. So 
on Mice and Mystics. And sorry I'm going over these kind of quick. Like I said, if you guys want me to, if you want me to do another video on a specific game, you guys just write down there in the comments, and I'll, I'll make a video just for that. So, and I, and I think sometimes I think some of these I do have videos for, so you can just look those up. But Mice and Mystics, fun game, uh, almost like a dungeon crawler type of thing, exploring, finding different weapons, and you know, and I love. I love dice games where you're rolling and trying to defeat you guys, it's really fun. Um, yeah, the Mice Mix and Lana Break. So, number seven. Actually, um, yeah. Number seven is. Uh, drum roll. I made it back on my list again. I think some of these actually did. Actually, I think I've had these on my last one, but they still made my top ten um, for solo board games, that is. It's Robinson Crusoe. Great game, kind of a explorey, explorey type of game where um, a lot of components in here. I can show you a little bit of them. What you're doing comes with four different guys in this one. Um, what you're doing is first, actually, you find a scenario, and, and uh, each scenario has a obviously different outcome, and well, duh, no brainer. Um, on how to win and, and, and what to do during the game. But basically, the main, the main thing in the game is that you're exploring. Let's see, I'll just show you the board really quick. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, flip. I don't want to rip you. It's sticky. Something was on the table when I laid this down last time. Oh, backwards. Upside down, I mean. So basically what you're doing, it doesn't matter which scenario you're playing, so scratch what I was saying earlier about that. <laughs> Just pick a scenario, and basically what you're doing is you're exploring. You start here where there's a starting tile, and you're exploring. So you can either explore. Um, there's there's different um, things you can build. Obviously, you don't have the cards here, but you're ex you're exploring, you're building. You can build up your your um, your hut, um, build up your armor so when things attack you, you can defend it. There's a weather phase. So you got to make sure you have a roof so the weather doesn't you know affect you. This is a like, it's kind of complicated to you know explain really quick, but it's a really cool game. I like you can explore different tiles, you can build different things, you gather resources. So each tile has like food and water, or food and wood and all that stuff. Um, there's different events that happen. Um, you can fight animals, so you're building up your your weapons. Um, it's a really cool game. I just like the fact that you know you're always trying to like. You always try to, you have to feed your guys every every time if you don't have enough food you lose I mean you're losing you die really um, quite often in this game I think I've only beat this game like once but that, that doesn't matter it's still a really fun game I love the fact you explore build I mean it's a great game Let's see. yeah that's about it I'm gonna show you some more of the components but. And I think I made a video on this, so you guys can look it up. So you can see a little bit more how it's played. Robinson Crusoe, my number seven. Great game. Number eight, Mage Knight. It, this is also the last one. I'm doing a bunch of repeats, I guess. These, I think these top five are repeats, and then the bottom five are going to be new games. So. Mage Knight. I have obviously have a bunch of expansions for it. I recommend. They're pretty good. Um, this one's just one extra guy. This this expansion here is um, it's pretty cool. It acts like a, um, it's like a dummy player that kind of moves along with you, and he, he can fight you and stuff like that. But anyway, Mage Knight. Basically, kind of con same kind of concept where you have these tiles, and if you're on the edge, you can spend a move point, and then you can place another tile. You know, each spot does something different, but there's cards that you know show you what those do. Um, the game comes with great figure, multiple figures. Comes with four the base game. Um, comes with the little towers. There's Tons of cards. And basically, in this game, you're just, you know, you start out with, I think, five cards, and you try to use your cards to the best advantage as you can, because 
you want to you want to get the most out of your cards. Like the most, there's movement in your cards. There's depends on what card it is, but um, there's movement, there's attack, there's block, there's all these different things you can do. But you have five cards, you try to do the most with it, and you can power up the cards. There's these um, mana tokens here. Where are they? There's these mana tokens here that allow you to power up um, each each card. You can recruit get help um, recruit guys to help you along battles and stuff like that to prep you to battle the castles because you're going to need pretty much a full force to battle them um, but anyway you're just I love this game a lot because you're just you got five cards and, and literally a turn can take like 15 minutes because you're sitting there going okay I'll do this okay I had to move to this spot it's going to take that's going to take two movements so that's one card down I have four cards left but then I need enough attack and sometimes you're like well I'm not going to block I'm just going to let them hit me and then use all my attack to kill them but then you got to make sure you're not getting wounded too much and then lose because you can lose all your cards if if you get damaged too much, so like I said, I can get more. I think actually, no, I did make another. I did make a video on how to play this game. Um, I don't know if it's very good, but I, that was one of my first videos I made, so I don't know. But um, but yeah, you can you can go on there and look it up and kind of see more about this game. But anyway, this is um, great components. There's different um, like each tile has like a little logo, and there's different like tokens that you place on there so it, can, it randomizes what happens on that spot. And there's little, there's dice here, they're mana dice. It's almost the same thing as those, those little power-up tokens I was showing you here. But anyway, you can go on there, look up Mage Knight, so little board games. Um, yeah, look up one of my videos and you can see a little bit more about this game. But really fun game, level up your guy, recruit guys, I just, like I said, I just love the fact that you can just, you have a certain amount of cards and try to do the most with it and try to like, and there's so many different, I mean, it's an amazing game. Once you figure out the rules, and the rules are a little complex, but once you figure them out, one of my favorite games of all time, honestly. But, you know, it's not always the number one, but these top ten are like the games I usually play quite frequently, so. That was my number eight, I believe. Was that eight? That was eight. No, wait, sorry. That was my number six. Wow. So I don't know why these numbered all weird. Sorry. So the number 10 was Run, Fight, or Die. Number nine was Lord of the Rings card game. Number eight was Vice Mystics. Number seven was Robinson Crusoe. My number six was Mage Knight. And my number five. These are going to be newer games, I don't think I have these, I think I made videos of how they played, but I don't think I had them on my last top 10 solo board games, but Marvel, or Legendary Marvels, a deck building game. Um, like I said, not much to show here, just a bunch of, another, bunch of cards, but um, yeah, nice little organizers, but what you're doing is, um, most of these card games you start with six cards, especially deck builder games. You have six cards, and you're just trying to. Um, you're either spending points to gather more guys to help you defeat. Um, is there actually pictures? Oh, that's right. I don't want to. I don't want to turn it upside down. I was going to show you what it kind of looks like, but I don't want to spill all my cards everywhere. I was going to show you the bottom of the box, but anyway, it's a, basically it's a um, deck builder game. It's great though. Um, I mean, like I said, you should check out my video how it's how it's played. Um, so you get a little more you know, detail on, on it, but basically you have cards and you're just, you're just either buying cards or you're using damage to try to defeat the, um, the bad guys, the enemies, and you're just keeping recruiting more guys and, and you're trying to, I don't know, it's a really fun game, it's hard to explain, but, and each card has different abilities, like if you have a certain card with another certain card and it will activate a different, it'll give you more hit points or more buy points, so either, so either you're buying more guys, or you're, or you're fighting, so, and it sounds kind of boring, but like I said, check out my How It's Played, one of my, this is number five, Marvel, uh, Legendary Marvels, uh, deck building game, like I said, it's a great game, great family, friendly game, easy to play, easy, super easy rules, so, but still, really fun, and again, most of these deck building games will have expansions, and they'll probably keep on coming out with expansions, so. Legendary Marvel deck building game. So that's my number five. 
Let's see, number four. This is a game I've only played once or twice, but you know, I played the games before it a lot, and this is Zombicide Black Clay. Now I played the, I was, I, about all the other zomb Zombicide ones. The rules in there, everyone's probably agree with this. The rules on that are a little, um, let's just say when you're, I don't know if you've ever played it or seen it play, but the last Zombicide is that when you're trying to, if, when you're trying to shoot into a zone with what in, in the safe one of your guys are in there one of your buddies you shoot them first before you shoot a zombie which I thought that was a horrible rule this game has changed all that BS in that last zombicide there's a bunch of things they did change but anyway this is a game where you, I think I can show you I think we'll really spill too much in this game let me just because I don't think I don't think you can see it that well Basically, here's a board. Basically, what you're doing is that you're searching each room. Let's say if you go in this room here, you open the door, you spawn in zo there's zombie cards that you draw. And anyway, um, each room, you have to spawn a certain amount of zombies in there. So all of a sudden, you'll just have a room full of zombies. You, to, you know, of course, you have different guns you can find. You can search these rooms, too. And you can find guns, and you can um, upgrade your guys and find shields, and, and you roll dice to try to defeat them, and you have to get enough hits and and of course there's more zombies and then after your turn then they activate again there's little zomb there's zombie points you can barely see it probably on the on the video but there's a zombie spawn zone so after you're done with your turns these activate each you know, end, of, end of the round and then they spawn more zombies so there's they're spawning zombies there and the end of the turn and also when you enter a new room they spawn more zombies so I mean, you just get flooded with zombies, you're shooting, you're upgrading your guys, and you say, this is a great game. Zombicide Black Plague is my number four, and I've only played it a couple times, but it doesn't matter.